back to the podcast scenario. My name is Anna. Today we're continuing our Let's Play of Tunisia. If you wanted to see Austria's latest Let's Play, you should watch yesterday's video because that's when Austria was on. Yes, we are now playing as Tunisia. Why are we playing as Tunisia? Well, because I want to. Um, it's actually Friday when I'm recording this. I recorded the Austrian episode just a minute ago. Uh, finished recording it, and I'm on, you know, doing this. Um. As I said, I'm doing this because I want to do it. Um, and I, I just feel like recording today. And I'm not sure how I'm going to feel over the weekend. I have a few things planned to do. And I, you know, don't want to rush episodes. Because I have time, I'll record now. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this um, Let's Play so far. Um, I really, really, really like it. Um, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, actually. Yeah, Granada is gonna get annexed by Castile just now. We have managed to um, become quite a nice power, I think. Uh, we can now actually ally the Mamelucks. So we should probably do that. Uh, it will give us another ally and someone to fight um, uh, the Ottomans should they decide to ally Algier in the end, uh, which would be quite bad for us, but yeah. We do have quite a bit of aggressive expansion in the newly conquered provinces and we're still courting one of them. Um, but I do want to uh, start fabricating claims on Algiers again. I uh, think it's gonna end in three years. Um, and I want a few more claims this time. Uh, although I think we can only get it on Lagvat, but it's still something, you know, it's a claim, it will something, we'll be able to go to war with them over it, so I'm all good. Um, and now the Bajai is actually considered like a core, we're not doing as bad. Um, nationalism is quite high, I know, um, but there isn't much we can really do about it. Just saying, uh, I don't, does piety affect us? On, um, oh it doesn't. Oh, I thought it affected tolerance as well, which I, I tolerance is weird. Yeah, we're soon we have good legitimacy in the base value is three anyways. So yeah, I think we're gonna stay Sunni. There is no reason for us to switch to any other religion in this case. Um, we don't have anyone good to marry at the moment either. Yeah, three out of four relations. I swear to God, if you like the Mamelucks, I will punch you in the throat. Uh, we could spend a bit of money replenishing our navy, but I don't want to. Uh, we are just... Aggressive expansion isn't really a problem. Just, it isn't. Uh, I don't think it is anywhere. We're, we're not bordering anyone really that would care as much. No one cares. So we're probably just gonna annex Algiers at this point. Um, it's not that rich anywhere, so... Yeah, there's a few okay provinces up here, which are okay and are gonna help us quite significantly um, in, you know, becoming a big power and then eventually taking on Morocco and getting work done over there, because we will need to. Okay, now, um, yeah, Portugal declared war on Morocco in a Portuguese conquest of Tangiers, I'm guessing, of Fez. Um, you actually like us, yes. Uh, we, I don't feel like going to war with Morocco, uh, with Portugal still in England, honestly. Um, even though I'm sure Morocco can take it, if they, they do, I don't know. Ah, we'll lose prestige though. You know what, I'll decline, I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to war with, uh, those people Morocco, I just ain't. Yes, you can have military access, you can do whatever. You're really good when it comes to fighting um, Algier, but I'm not getting you to help me fight. I'm not helping you fight the um, Iberian powers, shall we say. It's not really my thing. No, Portugal. It actually affects the relations now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, sorry, Morocco. I feel bad, but on the other hand, I don't, because it's Morocco. 
They're quite useless. There we go. Oh, we actually had a mission for that. The arrival of arrival, so they should be our friend. It's not gonna happen for a while longer. But an alliance will be done with Morocco, because, yes, Morocco is our ally. Actually, it could be done, because we don't have improved relations, do we? Uh, no, we don't have it anymore. Ah, uh, proper fleet, manpower needs to recover. None of these, none of these, I want none of these. We have four. Not allied with anyone, either. Should be able to take you on our own, actually, without Morocco now. Yeah, Morocco getting invaded. Quite weirdly. By the these two European powers. Well, England is doing fuck all. Hopefully, Austria. Now that the Burgundian event happened, there they can be some sort of a coalition. That, although they are they are allied with France, so pff, no coalition there. Hatred is going looking funny. Might get a new emperor actually. That would be interesting. Uh, yeah, I will take Lagwat. I will definitely take Lagwat. There are still revolts possible, I know. You quite like me, so I'm okay with that. You don't like me, because I'm allied to a rival. You would marry me. Hmm. I might do that, actually. It would get us quite insured against both of these powers. Why won't you marry us? Attitude. Um, if you marry us, and we might get an alliance with them, these two, that would auto exclude them from attacking each other. I think. I mean, we're not really that powerful yet, but eventually it could. Although a royal marriage with Hediaj would be preferable. Although the Ottomans, mm, you know what? We'll marry the Ottomans. Yeah. I don't plan on going to war with them anytime soon, and we'll improve relations with them, because they're just... It's a smart idea to do. Mm, we don't have that much admin power, though. Oh, yeah, because our king is shit-headed. You really are shit, aren't you? And the air is even worse. Let's get him in charge of this army. Get him killed in the next war. Preferably. We need someone strong on the throne. Weakling. Yes, we will take Lagwat. That will be our mission. Uh, reputation isn't everything. Our legitimacy goes up quite fast, I think, so we're okay. Uh, war ends on the 7th of September of next year. So, yeah, it's a good time for war. And then we'll go to war and finish them off, and then we'll deal with the rest of these powers. Venice is also getting um, taken by the Mamelots. Taken by the Mamlocks. We can only have one rival, which we won't have any more soon. Because Empire is the reason why. The exactly the reason why. Because Empire. They have not the next level in the attack yet. No, we need the infidel skills. Cheaper technology for all. 10% off, it, it, it still doesn't give us too much of an advantage, but it's okay. It's much better than not having any at all. We're gonna have to pause after with um, expansion. Good, good, good. No more in a coalition against me, stupid fool. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to stop our expansion, because we're gonna need to stock up on, po on power points. See, this is the issue with Tunisia now. Yes, repay that loan. Uh, we can actually repay a few more loans, can't we? Yeah, we can repay all the loans. Recall the Tripoli dude. Tripoli, why do you not love us as much? Union only name, backward monarch, ignorant monarch. But we are truly unified. We do love you. Sort of. Let's improve relations with Morocco. Who is, ge ge who is getting conquered? What's your, your face, right? Just this province. Usually, surprised Tangiers is a better one, or Casablanca, but yeah. As long as we can manage to go after the rest of them. 
Patriots in Constantine. Go, our brave heir. Fight these Patriots and die. Die bravely on the battlefield. Please die. What the hell? Is our... No, it isn't. Castilian Austria are now allied. That's a powerful uh, um, ally base. Come on, come in, Tripoli. Come in, 28th of May. Damn it. That was poorly of us. No, actually, no, go into Tunis. More emails! Oh my god! Those of you who watch the Austria game will know what I'm talking about. Persia exists! Part of it does. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's gonna put a damper a bit on our war. We're gonna have to wait a bit longer because so, our troops will need to replenish. But the war will still happen. These provinces will learn to love us. Oh, because our, uh, our legitimacy is lower, right? Damn it. Forgot that would affect it. No allies for you? No. A 323 and a 201. Yeah, it's not looking good. How long before this happens? That's 2000, that's 20 months. Really? That long? That's quite a long, long time, 20 months actually. Perhaps not in this episode, actually. That's how long. Where's Kazakh? Here they are. Yeah, Akkuyunlu and the Ottomans are not really at liberty to just duke it out. Without the Ottomans just winning. They're at war against the Ramazan and Akkuyunlu. Uh, with this is Ramazan. Yeah, so many wars. And you are just falling apart. Yeah. Every now and then they fall apart. That was important to say because um, Edith Piaf is the reason. For those of you who don't know who Edith Piaf is, she was a French chansonist in the last century, like the 1940s, 50s, somewhere around there. Pretty sure you've heard of her. If you watched Inception, then you heard her song, the, uh, no, rien de rien, whatever it's, what's it called? Non, je ne regrette rien, that's the name of the song. It's a good song, I really like that song. Um, she, she, yeah, but she was, she was one of the greats, deceased now, but was one of the great singers of the last century. Uh, army tradition... Yeah, we're gonna stop this deterioration. No, Ella? Uh, why you no, Ella? Uh, we want you, Ella. Yes, I'm making up languages now. That is how I roll. I want this to go up to ten or to seven thousand, and then we will consider going to war. Although with no allies on their side, I mean, I'm gonna pull this guy back. It's actually running smoother this way. Put you in that boat. so that we can detach sieges. What's the highest level you can 3? That's not gonna work. You're gonna be a very poor siege. Yes, Arlegua. The Mamelux do not care. Distant war, they are in debt as well. Um, the other dudes, of course, joined in. The. 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 Tripoli. 
the Tripoli, they will be out on the 26th, we will be in on the 28th, so we will be in behind them, which is good. This way they got a bit attritioned. Uh, no, and we're gonna take out of these smaller troops and hopefully Tripoli is gonna- yeah, they're going after the Biskra one. And then we'll just swoop in and finish the job. Or not even have to, since Tripoli is quite effective. We need to defeat these small armies that they're popping up. Um, I'm guessing they're mercenaries. Oh, come on! We must be winning that. Go fight that army in Al Jazeera. Come on! We're the champions of the world, aren't we? 51% blockade. And you're now also at war with them. Aragonese conquest of Siena. Oh, I'm getting dispatch con um, confirmation. Which is lovely. Uh, I ordered some things from Amazon and they're being dispatched. Which is fantastic, because I love getting things from Amazon. Uh, I need to order a new home button for my phone, uh, because I have an iPhone 4 and it's just a thing that they're not as good. Uh, we took a technology just now, military tech is plus 0.2, uh, land one out plus 0.5, so... is really good. Uh, yeah, conquest things now. There's quite a few disputed sessions, but I don't really feel like taking any of them. Uh, and since Tripoli is being quite powerful in their um, running around, they seem to be more than capable of taking on all, all of these smaller armies while that army reinforces. They're even bringing in more units, which is interesting. I'm gonna speed up time, because we can, um, and I don't want this episode to be completely a waste. I recall the dude from the Ottomans. The Ottomans probably don't want to be our allies, because we're at war. And even if we weren't at war, they would be, don't, wouldn't want to be our allies. We're gonna play, take Marketplace and dock, uh, and then if we have to, we'll wait on a few more points to do the annexation thing. Also, I don't think we have a full... Um, Improve the relations with the Mamluk, so we're gonna continue doing that. Uh, you might hear something like it's something's blowing into the mic. I have a fan on, turned on just above me because it is bloody hot. Um, and I want. It's bloody hot in here, and I don't want it to be bloody hot in here, so I, yeah, doing that. Uh, Aragon is getting demolished. See, this game is not going the way I wanted it to. Because if it were going the way I wanted it to, then... Um, we would be far stronger. We're going into Lagwat. This is not looking that pretty. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll do this. I think we can afford them. Uh, just to strengthen up that army, because I think that army might need some reinforcements, especially with these Algerian troops running around. I don't want to lose an army, that's basically why we're doing this. They're not costing us that much, so we're good. Might take another loan. Because we're used to doing that. Hopefully that small army can 
unsiege death, or rather siege death. Stupid, probably can't. Do. Come on, de demolish Ahmad the second. Morocco accepted peace with Castile, nothing really happened. Let's see if we can't siege more things at once. A bit annoying. Uh, even though this episode is a bit over, but mm, I know. I just want to continue. Just want to go on and on and on and on and on. Oh, forever. I want to see this army. This army will eventually reinforce. We could detach the mercenaries, I guess, from uh, this army. But this army is only mercenaries. What we will do is we'll take two of the mercenary regiments off, select it, and destroy it. Um, and then we will combine these two armies back together, create one army down here. They're gonna try to build something there, but it won't be good enough. Knowledge is power, but ignorance is bliss in our case. I'm afraid it has to be that way, otherwise the revolt risks would be way too high. They're already quite high, and I don't want them to be higher. And they're quite high because of our war exhaustion. Which is quite high. Uh, where are you? Why are you going into Al Jazeer? Stop trying to undermine me. Take an Al Jazeera now. And send that army into Oran then. And then reinforce there, and then it seems that Laguat is just about to be taken, which means that the Tripoli army is going into Tlemcen. I'm going to send our navy into the Gulf of Almeria as well. We're doing really well now. I'm quite happy. The Algerian army is getting not demolished. Let's see if we can't get reinforcements in here real quick. We can! Against Ahmed II. The stupid. I think we have the right to call him the stupid by now. Our air could die. Please. How are they managing to unsiege? Oh, there's only 320 defenders. It makes sense. We're still having issues. We've accepted peace. They ceded Mejia and Casablanca. Okay, they didn't have to uh, annul any relations with us, so I'm okay. But that this episode is is well, oh, it's at the time limit, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and don't forget to tune in next time for the next adventures in Tunisia. Bye bye.